hello everyone this is asmr today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial and today i'll show you this type of photography logo and you know that this one is the signature type photography logo so how to make it let's learn today and if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications and let's start here is the file options go to the new and then take a new canvas which is 2560 and 1440 and obviously in a pixel mode and 200 pixel per inch the resolution and rgb color mode so hit the create button you'll get the artboard or the canvas and then just write down something uh, like here is i write down the alum that means like that uh, before that change the color in a black just because of the background is white so okay i'm writing this one but uh, i have to change the font size like 70 or 62 or 72 that's fine and here is the character options if you want to get the character options over here go to the window and turn on the character options here this one character so i'll just decrease the gap between two letters make it zero and then here is the font i use the specialist font uh, glittering and i'll give you that font download link in my video description so check it out and then increase the font size from here just make it bigger like that so hit the tick button so you have to make it in the middle so what do you have to do just press ctrl a or command a and here is the alignment the left to right and up to down press ctrl d just deselect this one so after that write down the photography like that go to the text tool again and select once and then decrease the font size around 30 or i think the 14 pixel is good and write down photography you have to choose the normal font suppose i here choose the futura font which is the futura medium and increase the font size a little bit yeah 21 or around 20 that's good and increase the gap between two letters like this around 600 yeah that's good and hit the tick button so go to the move tool again and take this one in uh, these options uh, this so you have to make it like align with the n or m so press ctrl t and align it with this one so hit the t button after that go to the file options and place embedded and take a picture like this so make it bigger press the shift and alter at a time and make it bigger and hit the tick button so drag to in a down of that layers so before that you have to make the font color like white from the character options uh, yes that's fine so if you need to make it more bigger so press ctrl t and make it like bigger so that's good but uh, here i need to change the color like the, i am taking the solid color from the adjustment layer and hit ok and down the fill options yeah you'll get this one if you want to export it in a png format to turn off all the things and then go to the file options and save as and here is the options or format take the png format and give the name logo like that and choose the desired folder and save one and hit ok you got a png image when you are getting the dotted box that means you are in a png mode so turn it on okay fine how to replace or place this one in your photography go to the file and open up suppose this one is your photography and go to the file option place embedded and choose that png format suppose this one and hit the ok button and if you need you can make it bigger and just use it in a in your photography if you need so use the move tool and 
or arrow key to move this one so this one is the light pixel or light font that's why it's not moving properly press ctrl t and if you need you can make it bigger so you can place anywhere in your photography so you're getting the professional look of the signature logo or signature photography logo of your photography so i think you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and i'm asmr signing out today until the next video if you have any kind of question query please do comment on my video comment section and if you need any resource file and font download link please check out my video description so until the next video bye bye